Hey guys, uh, we're gonna make just a little um, kind of fun project today that can have a positive message on it. Um, I'm gonna show you mine and then I'll show you how to get started, but this is not gonna be a hard one today at all. I'm gonna go nice and easy for you guys so you can go out and enjoy the sunshine. So I made, oh, I'm gonna go back a little bit here. I made this picture that says shine on it. So that is the word that I chose to shine. And I made a sun. So my sun, I did an all kind of, um, I did it all in warm colors. So reds, oranges, and yellows to make it warm like the sun. And I just put different patterns in each part of my sun there. And then the word that I chose, I did in cool colors, blues, greens, and purples. So that way there was a contrast and a difference between my two things that I have in my picture. Now I kept my background simple white, but if you wanted to, and if you had colored paper or something, you can cut, actually cut your pieces of your sun out and glue it onto a piece of paper. You could maybe, if you had watercolor paint, you could watercolor any part of this, the background of sun, any parts that you want to do. So I chose to do my colors this way, but you guys can choose to do your colors however you want. I just chose the warm and the cool. Maybe if I was gonna paint the background, say a cool color, maybe I would have done um, both the sun and the word in warm color so they stood out against the background of my um, my cool background. So it's going to be kind of up to you. I just want to kind of show you the warm and cool if you want to use them in your video. I mean in your video. You're not making a video. Well maybe you are. In your picture um, you could. Okay so this one I did vertical. Okay the one over here and I only did half the sun. Okay you could do a full sun so it does not need to be exactly what I'm doing here. I'm going to do this one horizontal and again I'm going to do a um, half of a sun. Okay, so this is going to be kind of like the sun is rising. Okay, super easy. If you're going to do a full sun, you would start with a full circle and then make kind of like these triangle shapes going around for your rays of your sun. Okay, you could trace an object to make that circle too if you wanted to make it easier. For this one, I'm going to do a one that's kind of rising up. So I'm going to make a, on the bottom of my paper, a bump or a curve. Oops, I'm a little too low down. There we go. Okay, like the sun kind of rising up on my paper. And now I'm going to make those triangles going around my sun here. So I'm actually going to start from the middle, but you could start from wherever you want because I know that some of them might be going off the page over here. So I'm going to start from here and kind of work my way down. So I'm just going to make, like I'm making a triangle. I just kind of curve the bottom just a little bit. And then I'll make two diagonal lines that connect to a point, okay? Then I could go ahead and go next to it and do the same thing. And actually, I don't think this one's gonna go off the page. Uh, maybe a little bit over here. Okay, and then I can go ahead over on this side. And it's okay if they're not exactly the same size or if the shape's different. Just giving you this as a guide. You can always add your own personality to it. And that one's going to kind of go off the page. So there's my rays of my sun. And then you could put different designs in here. If you want to just keep them plain like this, you could. But maybe inside these, I want to put different designs. So maybe I want to put like diagonal stripes in this one. Maybe this one I want some polka dots. Maybe this one I want, maybe the big part, I want some hearts in here of varying sizes. Okay, so I would just go ahead and add whatever sort of designs I wanted to, if I want to add designs in there. So it's kind of like using some stuff from our last project where we did the crazy hair and had the different types of lines. I'm basically putting different types of lines and shapes in here to create my uh, sun. Let's see, I'm running out of one, so let's see if I do a squiggle. All right. So now once I have my sun, I could go ahead and color that, paint that, whatever it is that I choose. You could even do this outside with chalk. It would be awesome if you have chalk and you um, can draw on your driveway. Um, then you want to think about your word, okay? So I'm going to put the word, I think, hope, okay? So any sort of positive word that makes you happy. Maybe you just want to write the word happy. You want to write, write, write love. Maybe you want to write um Whatever you can think of, I'm sure you probably can think of more things than I can right now on the spot here, okay? Take your time, think about it, think about what you want to put. So I had on our virtual art video, I had ended it with um, a jar that had the word hope in it. So I'm going to use that because I thought that 
was a nice positive message for what we're all going through right now. Okay, hoping that everything will we'll be going back to normal as soon as possible and we'll all be able to see each other again and everybody stays as safe and happy and healthy as possible. So I'm going to write the word hope. You can write it however you want. Um, I'm gonna do it in bubble letters and then I'm just gonna show you quickly how um, to make bubble letters if you don't know how to do it. So maybe I want, if I could knew how to do cursive, I could write this in cursive, whatever kind of style you wanted to. And then I could add designs in there if I wanted to and color that in. So I just want to quickly show you how you can do um, black letters and bubble letters if you do not know already. But I think I've showed most of you guys, but just in case. Okay, so I'm going to use this is an erasable pen, but you can use a pencil if you have that. So say I wanted to write the word hope, okay, I can write it out in regular handwriting. And then for block or a bubble, Okay, you're just going to trace around the shape of your letters. Okay, so if I want to do a block letter, so I did more bubbly on this one because it's rounded, a little lopsided, but it's rounded. But if I want to block, I would trace around the shape of my H like that. Okay, and that would make a block letter. And then you would go ahead and erase the original one that you put there. Now the O. Honestly, I can just trace over this. It's always a little bit different and just make another one there. Okay, I'm gonna trace around the P. I'll do this one in bubble letters. So when I trace around it, I'm going to make it more rounded. Now with something like a hole like this, oops, I lost my, my pen. Erase the inside and then go ahead and draw your shape in there. I'll do this one bubbly too. Okay, so that's how, if you don't know how to make bubble or black letters, that's how you could go ahead and do it. Okay, so I want you guys to have fun with this. I have some nice positive words on there for me. Share them if you can for me. I will be adding them to my second virtual art show. I hope you got to see the first one. Share it with your parents so they can see all the great work all of you guys have been doing. I'm so proud of you. And um, I miss you guys, and I hope to see you guys all soon. All right, take care. Bye.